Hi, I'm Trooper Elizabeth Clousey with the Illinois State Police, and I'm going to talk to you about car seat safety and demonstrate how to properly install a rear-facing car seat. So first and foremost, one of the most important things that you want to do when you get your car seat is to fill out this registration card. This registration card ensures that any recalls with your seat, that you're notified of them, and it also will give you safety alerts and any updates that you need to know about your seat. This comes with every seat. So just make sure once you get it, you send it in. If for some reason you lose it, you can still register your seat online with the car seat manufacturer or ask for a new car. The second thing that you want to make sure to do is you want to make sure that you check the owner's manual and read it thoroughly before you install the car seat. It's also important to read the manual of your car. When you decide what seat you want, you can go to the store and actually ask to take the seat outside and place it in your car to see if it's going to work. That's oftentimes the best thing to do because you won't know if it works well with your car until you try it. So that's my suggestion. So with that being said, we're gonna get to installing a car seat. Now, one of the most common mistakes that people sometimes make is they don't lock out the seat belt. And the car seat's installation is not, uh, there's a lot of components to it. So it's not really easy. You have to make sure you follow the manual and do it the steps very carefully. So the first step that you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that the seatbelt is locked out. In order to do that, you need to pull it all the way out. If you pull your seatbelt out, it goes back in and comes back out, it's not locked out. You need to pull it until the seatbelt comes all the way out and you hear a clicking sound. At this point, when you let the seatbelt back in, you're gonna hear a ratcheting sound, just like that. And I no longer can pull the seatbelt back out. That's when you know it's locked out. So at this point, we want to make sure that feed the seat belt through the rear facing belt path. This is important. And if you get it through the wrong belt path, it won't work properly. As you feed the seat belt through the rear facing belt path, make sure that you do so so that the straps are not twisted or turned. We do not want them to lay with a twist. So after you get the belt buckled, you're going to pull all the slack out and let it ratchet back in. And then, after you get the slack out, you're going to push down near the belt path and continue to tighten the seatbelt. Sometimes this is a two-person job. Once you have all the slack tightened and you think it's tightened and ready to go, you check the tightness by wiggling at the belt path. If it doesn't move more than one inch from side to side, you know that the seat is securely fastened in the car. The next step would be to put your seat cover back down into its position and then properly harness your child in the car seat. Once you have the child positioned, you need to make sure the bottom of the child is completely back towards the back side of the seat and that the straps sit at or below the child's shoulders. The chest clip should sit armpit level. And in order to make sure that the straps are tight enough, but not too tight, you check at the, at the shoulder level to make sure that you cannot pinch any extra. You don't want the child's shoulders to be compressed by the straps. You just want them to be tight enough that there's no loose uh, straps that you can pull it up. And at that point, you know that your child is safely secured in the harness. To summarize the rear-facing convertible car seat installation demonstration, I want to highlight a few key points. Make sure you select the appropriate car seat for your child and your vehicle. Car seats should always be installed in a rear seat of your vehicle. Register your car seat and read all of the manuals before installation. Remember to always lock out the seat belt to safely secure that car seat. Always make sure to properly harness your child with a chest clip at armpit level. We hope this video helps you to make sure that your child is always safe and secure in your car every time.